So everybody hates us. It's official all around the world. Uh, I don't know why. They just do. They just don't like us. Whatever. Uh, we won our civil war. But now we have a new problem. Uh, everyone hates us. So <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and get our butts in gear. Get our army back to where the heck we belong. The Budkai bros need to go ahead and, uh, and smash up any, any threats around here. Did want to go for, uh, for this city right here because I'm like, oh yeah, it'll just open up, you know, like free, uh, free little, like, uh, trading zone. I could reinforce our down below cities here and kind of move along here. But then I'm realizing we're surrounded by these fools. They're everywhere. They're literally, they just kind of like overnight, they cropped up. And they took over all these cities all around us. It's amazing. So, uh, they actually have six territories. Uh, these ones, these people, uh, so that's really kind of scary, really kind of scary, we're surrounded by them, uh, so I can't really start a fight with them, although Western and uh, Eastern Europe, our uh, Romans, don't like them. So, alright, it is time, uh, Budlandia is fine, everyone's nice and happy at least, at least since the Civil War is over, everyone be happy, but uh, we gotta get some serious uh, fighting and expanding done soon. And there's a few places we can do it, but we're going to be trading on everyone's lands, upsetting everyone even more. So I don't... <laughs> it's going to be like... Uh, I think we need to go to war. Alright, so before I move out, I think I got our plan set in motion for war. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move our troops up this way along this uh, coastline here. And then we're going to go ahead and take this city right here. It is completely undefended, left alone. Uh, these guys will be our enemies. I do want to I do want to kind of uh, merge our empire with this half... And, uh, and this half down below here, and actually have a good fortification. Uh, there was a huge army of theirs right here last turn, but it kind of disappeared. I think it might, might have went down further this way. Maybe uh, foolish enough to take on Rome or something like that. But, okay, so they have one big army running around, wrecking the place. So we're going to go ahead and move right now. And hopefully we get uh, close enough to here in a couple turns. Let's see. All right, so we're moving along. <laughs> what are we going to find? Hey, what's up, man? Uh... Oh, did we get stuck? Darn it, we're stuck. Blasted. All right, well, eventually we're going to get to here, and we're just going to jump the city and take it. I think uh, I think that's the way to do it. I really want to hit these guys with a strong blow. So as we're moving up the coast here with these guys still, uh, I'm going to go ahead and make another army up above here in Budlandia and send them on down as well. It's going to be taking a chance because we'll leave, we'll leave ourselves open, but we do have an awesome, uh, an awesome amount of garrison here at this place. So I feel like that might be enough. I don't think these barbarian tribes will try to attack us. <laughs> uh, at least I really hope they won't. So let's get some more melee guys in here. Oh, oh, spearmen. Oh, that's right, we do have some research going on. I think we can get... Oh, we do have... Oh, we do have better spearmen now available. So I might go ahead and hire some of those. Also, we can brush our teeth and put away our toys now, too. We got sanitation, too. So that's going to help out all the cities be more happy and clean and all that whatevers. Uh, all right, so... Let's see, these spearmen, uh, what are their uh, armors at? Let's, let's take a look. Uh, armor, 53. Attack, oh, this seems quite superior, although their upkeep is 203. That's really expensive. Darn it, darn it, darn it. But it's good against the horses that the Romans will sh be sure to have. So, alright, and they're expensive to recruit too. But I think we need, I think we need at least three of these guys, and the rest can be archers. We'll have double archers to these guys. Uh, bada boom, bada boom. And then, uh, and then, yeah, so we're going to have a turn of making those guys. Then we'll probably rest for the winter in the barracks. And, uh, and these guys, I might go ahead and disband, honestly, so we can save some money. Uh, yeah, that's, that's probably what I'll do. I'll disband these guys and send everyone down uh, to attack this place and this place, which is unguarded. And we are poised to strike on two fronts. So right here, we have the Budkai Bros waiting in a fortified place here. Uh, for winter to pass to strike uh, this place in the spring. And then up above north, uh, we have, uh, I think these are the uh, the Basham Bros. We have them here recruiting another three, waiting in a fortification, ready for springtime as well to strike this place right here. So we should get two cities, uh, hopefully, in the spring. Or, or, or maybe like, you know, before, before uh, the next winter comes. Because they seem to be, the only thing they have are their garrisons, and their garrisons are pretty sad, kind of. Kind of. Actually, that one was pretty scary. This one, yeah, see, kind of sad, kind of sad. So, so hopefully we can get these, convert these. I'll send the priestesses over, and maybe, uh, maybe we can uh, deflect their impending attack. Here we go. It looks like they have their soldiers back here, this huge, scary thing. So they may take over and destroy this uh, little town, but we should be able to take it back after we uh, hold their settlements. I mean, heck, I don't even mind trading, honestly. Like, I, I'll, I'll trade these two for that. <laughs> That's fine with me. Uh, these walls are awesome. 
Uh, okay, so uh, hopefully this spring uh, will be uh, we can strike. Spring has come and we are ready to siege them. Uh, we are low, lo very low on the money here, uh, as we cannot keep up our uh, our current upkeep. But we need we needed this quick boost to go ahead and get what we need to get done. Uh, all right, so we should be able to take this over. Uh, should be able to siege him for a while, as their main force is down here, actually dealing with some uh, with a horde right now. So that's fantastic. They're kind of struggling with this. These guys are raiding and pillaging their lands. That was kind of fortunate. And, uh, all right, and we're not being attacked. We got, we got lucky with that. So I'm going to go ahead, set us to standard movement here for our biggest force. And I'm going to go ahead and <laughs> put this huge city under siege. Hopefully, uh, hopefully we'll be able to, uh, maybe wait it out. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right, here we go. Here we go. Uh, yes, act of war. Let's declare war. Now, I do believe they do have other, uh, enemies. Yes, that's right. The Western Romans, at least, are their enemies. I guess that changed. Um... We don't really need to call our allies for help. I don't really, uh... Well... I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. Let's call them for help. Uh, except... Let's do it. War declared. So be it. Put your wives and children good, good, good. And save them from awesome. At our hands. Okay, so... Uh, this is always so nerve-wracking. Okay. <laughs> so we are... Oh, oh that, that, at least that, that makes me feel good right there. Okay, so let's get some, um... Siege towers, I believe. I guess might as well. Let's get some uh, like battering. All right, let's get a battering ram and some ladders, something like that. Wow, that takes a long time to build. I'll be darned. All right, well we'll come back to that later. Um, continue siege. All right, so we're doing that guy there, and hopefully we'll be able to get him off guard. Here, let's send these guys on over here, and try to take their cities right from underneath their noses. Now this is quite the gamble as Budlandia is left open. <laughs> They're like, oh, these guys, these guys. Let's get some rams, some ladders. Uh, this is this is easier to build for some reason. I guess sieging a city. I don't know. We'll see. All right. So, uh, oh, here we go. Total labor force, right? Labor force ab available. Uh, how long? Okay. So we could wait 14 turns to take this. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and maintain this. And let's hope nothing bad happens. The time has come for us to take what is ours. These cities are now still under siege here. It is fall time. We're uh, almost ready to go ahead and attack with these guys. Um, we have one set of, uh, of siege, um, of, uh, I guess, rams constructed. But I may wait another turn to get some ladders as well. We'll see about that. I might attack this turn. Uh, looking at their forces here, they are stuck in this city. Uh, these guys are not at war with them, but they are encroaching on their territory. But they are trading with them. I'm not sure what's going on here, but uh, I don't know. It seems like these guys are stuck here for, for about two turns. Uh, the city looks like it's devastated. So maybe they're taking care of that, trying to keep the populace under control. I don't know. Um, let's see, I sent up a priest over here. She is, uh, I guess, making these people real uneasy. I have her what set to um, yeah, discourage populace. And we're about ready to, to attack here from the north. Very exciting times. Uh, no one has attacked Budlandia yet. Uh, it's losing a little bit of a happiness just because I got the tax rate cranking up uh, to about, I guess, like, regular. Uh, just so we can, uh, you know, not, <laughs> not be stuck in debt. And then we have a mercenary captain, I believe, who wants to join or who actually wants to talk to us. Let's see, your mercenary pastor... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, oh, wait, he... Oh, he wants to offer his sword and loyalty if we were willing to pay up front. Um, <laughs> as for a discount. Um, yeah, yeah, discount. <laughs> we'll see See if he gets back to us. I, I only, you know, I only take uh, loyal subjects who are free. Okay, so let's go ahead and attack this city here. Uh, we have one of these, one of these. That should be enough for this. All right, let's do it. Are you ready, men and women, to shoot your bows and light things on fire on a rainy day? <laughs> and you spearmen, are you ready to go ahead and stab like you've never stabbed before? Oh, look at this guy. He's got a bear hat. Oh, he's amazing. All right, so we got some guys here, some guys there. Got some, uh, our, our, uh, our, I guess, uh, faction hair back here. And then we have some men on the ladders, spearmen on the ladders. Spearmen on a ram and spearmen on these ladders here. The awesome thing is the reason why I'm kind of doing an all-out assault on this side is just because all these towers are taken out. They're all 100% uh, damaged all along here, and I think we're stretched out far enough where we will be uh, stretching their their attention. Uh, they'll probably have some here, some here, some there. I'm guessing, as they only have four units. Uh, because I don't want to take shots from these like good towers here, that's for sure, even if it is just a distraction. Alright, so let's go ahead and do this thing. Start the battle. Uh, let me just get everyone moving here before I take a peek at what's going on. Alright, so you guys go there. 
you guys go there, and you, of course, hit that door. That's right. Yeah. Because <laughs> we want their city. We want those walls. Those, those, these walls are amazing. Okay. So, uh, where the heck are they? Oh, I see. We can't quite see them behind the walls. I'm guessing they're all back. Oh, here's, here's some guys. Oh, wow. Looks like they are have lost some numbers. Wow. So, they're not even, like, at full strength. That's awesome. All right, well, I'm going to let us creep up forward, and, uh, and then I'll get back to you guys. Hey, get out of my rice patties, you! So check this out. These little uh, poppers here, these little farmers, are, like, distracting our guys. They're, like, they're like, fighting our guys with the huge spears. It's like, what the heck, man? Get out of here. <laughs> this is amazing. Uh, look, they're all over the landscape there, so I guess that's something to keep in mind. Um, <laughs> get out of here, Grandma. Grandma, get out of here. Get, get, I don't want to hurt you, Grandma. That's right, just back away back away <laughs> is he gonna is he gonna hurt grandma can he not hurt a grandma can he not do that he's just like whatever whatever miss just 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 get your corn get your wheat all right <laughs> so um anything going on over here i don't think they really have let's see they have horsemen swordsmen swordsmen uh probably heavy armor uh i guess we can go up and fling some shots on over with our archers i guess i could do such things let's go ahead and send up the archers uh let's get some heavy shots going on in here Send them up here and do some, uh, let's do some raining down. All right, all right, here we go. Nice, nice. I have told our ladders to go ahead and halt. As I see, they do not have any archers whatsoever. So we're going to go ahead and get our arch archers launching, <laughs> launching, <laughs> launching their fiery missiles uh, upon their troops. Now, I think I want to go ahead and target. Uh, let's target their caval cavalry unit right here. I do believe that's going to be their, uh, their king. I don't want to set this Colosseum on fire, I have to fix that later. I know it lowers morale, but I think all these flaming shots right here is going to lower morale just fine. Uh, and I don't think we're getting shot anywhere, are we? I feel like our ladders are just chilling here. Yeah, we're just sitting here waiting just outside as we go ahead and pelt them with everything we got. We got our warlord moving up here, uh, so we can make him just walk now so he doesn't get too tired. Yeah, well, he's winded already, so we want to get a nice morale boost here. Might even tell this ramming to stop, honestly. Yeah, everyone just kind of... Oh, I don't think we could stop a mid-ram. That's fine, though. Whatever. Um, I, I, I doubt they're going to rush down. Maybe they will. I don't know. We'll see. But okay, we're going to keep on... Oh. Destroyed our siege engines. No, we're fine. We're good. So I don't think these guys are going to rush down in any hurry. So I think we can go ahead and pelt them continuously. Uh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, they're catching on fire. And they're panicking. I don't see any heavy armor here, so it looks like these fiery shots are the best thing. Oh, there's some heavy armor, but, yeah, oh, heavy melee. Maybe we should send some heavy shots. Although, they're wavering. Wavering. I'm definitely not going to send any troops this way. That's that's a fool's, uh, foolish thing to do. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and switch to heavy shots. Let's do it. It's less damage, but more armor piercing. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Everyone, stop. Don't pursue those guys. Now, let's just switch to uh, the heavy shot. And attack these suckers right over here. Oh my gosh. That's cool. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Oh, so they're coming back. That's fine. They can come back a little bit. Send in some heavy shots now this way. Should do the trick. Oh, man, you gotta love it. Oh, look at that pain. All right, so I told our men to leave the ladders. Just kind of move in over here. Uh, as we are still blasting away at these guys here. Even their, their uh, horsemen are taking hits. So their horses are running out of the city. Got our warlord right there with this nice bubble of, uh, of encouragement. Uh, anything else he can do? Not really. I think we are getting a shot a little bit here, but we're not really losing too many uh, too many people. Uh, as we are really giving it to them. Uh, harder than they're giving it to us. So, alright, looks like some are already fleeing. Gotta love it, those horsemen are fleeing, they're going away. Still launching shots, got plenty of ammo left in return uh, to respond to these guys. Make sure they're all shooting these heavy shots. Might actually switch to fiery shots, honestly. I don't really see much of a, much of a deal here with the heavy shots. And we could track them better. Might as well. Whatevs. I'm pretty sure we got this battle anyway. So. Ooh, should we fight these guys on the wall? I don't know. I think as soon as these guys break, we should just run up here and, uh, and claim this, this little area for our own. And then these guys will probably rush over. By the time they get ready and situated to assault us, to attack us, charge us, whatever, um... We should be ready to smash them up real good. So I'm going to keep a close eye on this and wait for them to break. And I just put our guys into uh, spear wall. I mean spear wall. Shield wall. Look at this. All right. So they're already cheering. We didn't even start fighting yet. Got them in spear wall. 
Shield, shield, shield wall. And uh, you can see I'm... Oh, this is great. We're doing a great job here. Should I send them up now? I'm so tempted to. I'm so tempted to. Oh, I gotta wait, though. Gotta wait till at least our armor, our, uh, our ammo is expired. Because these are free kills right here. Are you guys shooting? Yeah, they're shooting. Let's take a look from uh, their point of view here. They're just like, hmm. Oh, man, that is so cool. That's so cool. I'm glad we have a chance to just kind of relax a bit and just, like, take a look at how these guys shoot from the, uh, from the soldier eye view. This guy's just standing around. What are you doing? And now we are moving up in for the kill. Uh, like a bunch of a bunch of formed soldiers. I tell you what, that carpentry house I, I used to, uh, I built to get archers, it was like the best investment we've ever made. Ever. I mean, totally incredible. Hey, 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 don't, no bunching up, no bunching up. There you go, alright. So we are uh, ready to do this, I think. 39 out of 80, they seem like they are shaken. Oh, they're still eager. Confident losing current combat. You better believe you're losing that. Uh, I guess I'll make the rest of our archers shoot at these fellows over here. And we will go ahead and, uh, ooh. They're not going to shoot those guys, are they? Let's take a look at... <laughs> oh, man, oh, man. Uh, what's the armor on these guys? They kind of look like they're medium. Yeah, let's... Oh, that's fine. Okay, alright, let's move up now. Let's move up. Alright, you guys go like that. You guys go like that, too. Let's get our uh, general back here. Let's take a look at how this spear wall works on an uphill situation here. Let's see. Alright, so hopefully we can we can keep an order. We get a huge defensive bonus. Huge defensive bonus uh, with the spear wall. Doing alright. Wow, actually we're doing really good. Did we even lose anyone yet? We didn't even lose anyone yet. This is incredible. They're, they're dropping like flies. Unbelievable. Oh, spear wall at its finest. Oh, we got a win unit. No wonder this unit was so expensive. It was worth every penny. Alright, let's form up here. Let's form up. Uh, let's get, let's get, uh, oh man. Yeah, 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 that's right. Get in line, get in line. Uh, let's get the general back here. Don't think I really need anyone else to, uh, oh, what the heck's going on? Come on, come on, back, back, back. Uh oh, now they're gonna catch us off guard. Let's get in line, get in line, fight. Well, everyone's running in. Okay, what, whatever. Oh, wait, that's right. I have them all set to, uh, whatever. <laughs> Everybody attack. Oh, now it's getting nice and messy. But, uh, there's no way they're gonna win this. There's no way. I told everyone to attack, essentially. Everybody? Yeah, everybody just attack. There we go. Nice. Oh, feel that. <laughs> That's a pain. 32 out of 80, 31 out of 80. We're just all kind of uh, surrounding him. Where the heck are you guys going? Right here, guys. Right here. Turn around. Oh, I must have told everyone to just like... Oh, for goodness sake, stop. Stop shooting, please. Please, 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 stop. 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 <laughs> Oh, I must have did a misclick there. But alright, so we lost some guys, whatever. Yeah, stop it, stop it, stop it. You guys stopping it. You guys stopping. Yeah, they're stopping. Alright, good. So now let's, uh... Are there, are there any enemies left on the map? I don't think so. Where are these guys going? Stop! Jeez, I just told them to, like, move up. Alright, so let's m march right into this square here. Take this over. Oh, I see, there's some spearmen up here still. Alright, so it seems like barricades like this that are in our way, we can go ahead and disassemble. We can smash it. There we go. Ah, oh, we can bring it down with our own regular melee weapons. That's, that's great. They didn't take long at all, actually. And we're still getting shot from this tower over here. I tell you what, this tower's got some serious range. I do not like that one bit. Uh, let's send our guys up here. At least uh, by cover of this building here. Um, and these guys, I'll just keep right here. They're, they're good right here. They got some cover behind this building. Uh, so I would think... Oh my gosh, we're being shot at from both sides, are you kidding me? Alright, here we go, spear wall, spear wall, let's do it. Let's do it, hang on, pause it, pause it. Alright, let's do this, spear wall, spear wall, spear wall, okay. You guys do that whole spear wall thing, and then let's get to, uh... Let's get to attacking these guys. Good, so they they are going down the hill. And we are coming up the hill. <laughs> oh, they're running away, <laughs> kind of. What are they doing? Oh man, these guys, oh I see, they got, they got to a much better spot offensively. That's alright though. That's alright though, we got our spear walls going here. We should have uh, good coordination here. <laughs> Let's get our general up here too, so we can go ahead and support everyone. Make them feel better, although I think we got this no doubt about it. Even with this disadvantage of, uh, of hill here. Oh yeah, this is good, it's good stuff. We got this, totally got this. Ah, uh, you gotta love a good fight. Good fight. Let's take a look at how they're doing here. 33. 
Uh, they are using, oh yeah, lose, losing decisively in melee. Very tired, wavering. Uh, recent casualties. Let's take a look. This is the general's unit. This is their their whole king over here. Uh, not really king, actually. This, I think it's just like some kind of captain uh, that was just kind of put into place. But uh, I tell you what, these side towers are very. Uh, oh, looks like we got our general up in here. Our faction here is taking some knife work here. Hopefully, going to gain some influence for the family. All right, victory. I like it. Are these towers stop shooting when it's a victory or no? They just keep shooting. No, it looks like looks like they're not shooting anymore. But uh, let's mop this up here. Take every one last, uh, every one, every last. Yep, <laughs> they disappeared, and everyone is cheering. It's a good, happy day in our new city. Amazing, amazing. And we only lost 72 men. Amazing. That was. Uh, I think we're getting better at this, guys. <laughs> All right. So they are crossbones and uh, completely smashed up. And enemy captured. Yeah, they just dead. Okay. Let's take this place over. Occupy. Okay. So conquest penalty might negative uh, 20. Um, for next turn only. Okay, I'm cool with that. Instability. Uh huh. And then uh, unit replenishment. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Well, we'll get some of that. Although I might, I might actually disband some of these guys, depending on the impending war and our overhead costs for everything. But um, we definitely want to occupy since it's right next to Budlandia. Let's do it, and we'll grab this this uh, city, this town over here next, and that's going to be totally amazing. All right. So now let me guess. Yeah. All right. Negative thirty-one. Total chaos. Of course. Of course. Can we get this lady here to be uh, inspiring the populace? I think she's already doing that. Um, it's got some damages here, but looks like, okay, looks like it's not really developed too far yet, which is good. Gives us some flexibility to go ahead and develop it. Public order, military presence, instability, that, that goes down over time. Devastation, that'll go down. Looks like we'll be able to hold this, no problem, with uh, our priestie here. Pretty cool, pretty cool. All right, all right. So, uh, next episode, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and go after this big old bad boy over here, this huge, huge city. Uh, I don't know if it's a huge city, but it's definitely a big city. Uh, so we're gonna go after this next time. I can't wait. And uh, hopefully these guys just kind of stay here with the pox or whatever they have. And, uh, and leave us alone <laughs> while we take their stuff. They have overextended, but so are we. So anything could happen. So I'll see you guys next time.